so moving on so we <laughs> two for nintendo one for microsoft so i'd say nintendo from this group is the winner overall yes but what is the <laughs> game you guys are most excited to see coming out this year or next year from e3 let's do it all right <laughs> just do it Okay, I have to say Kingdom Hearts 3. I've literally been waiting like 10, 12 years. I'm like Sirius Black who broke years. out of Azkaban. 12, <laughs> 12 years. years! Like seriously, oh, it's uh, it's about time. Um, oh man. The most, the one I'm most anticipated, anticipated, <laughs> anticipated for. I, I honestly have to give it for, I have to give it to Ghost of Tsushima because it's like, even though Spider-Man's coming out this year and I've been waiting for a really good Spider-Man game for a really long time, like... It's not often you see a game like Ghost of Tsushima that essentially looks like someone water painted an entire video game. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, I actually learned recently that the thing they showed off at E3 was actually just a side mission. So to have that much effort and care and just almost what I would call pitch perfect like uh, execution on the samurai genre, it's kind of insane. Mm -hmm. Like it's so good. What about you? So, Smash Bros, obviously, just because I am a Nintendo fanboy. Anything they do in my eyes with Mario, pretty much it. Mario is, you know, Mario is gold. Mario Odyssey, <laughs> game of the year, even though Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild won somehow. I was Persona not 5, sorry. I'll fight you on that. <laughs> just game of the year. Mario Odyssey deserved to win. It should have beat Legend of Zelda. <laughs> no. Uh, coming up this year, also, Spider-Man PS4, just because yeah, yeah. I'm a Spider-Man fanboy. I'm a big fanboy of a lot of things, so, you know. That's kind of my trump card. I get hyped for a lot of things and usually get disappointed, like with Call of Duty, year after year. God. It's like a bad relationship where I just they say they're gonna change. I'm like, okay, I'll come back. <laughs> and I'm sad they didn't show any Black Ops Four footage this year. They showed some at Sony. Or not Blackout. I was the Battle Royale mode was all. Oh yeah, yeah, they showed like the maps at, uh, at Sony's maps. presentation. They showed old maps from the other previous mm-hmm. Black Ops, but mm-hmm. that was about it. But I yeah, know it's like, well, that's the thing. Sony has a deal with you know EA to essentially show Black Ops footage. And they have to. They don't really have a choice. So it's like, regardless of what they have done and ready, yeah. they have to show it. But I mean, the game's gonna. The game is scheduled for I think a November release. October. October. Earlier. October. This year, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. They want to stay as far away as they can from Red Dead Redemption. Yeah, that's you should call month. it. Yeah. It is. Oh yeah. That's yeah. What, that's oh, what, I thought God. that too. I'm like, oh, maybe they're just like there's big competition. I'm like. But why are they doing the same month as Red Dead 2? Thank God they're giving me a month for Spider-Man then. <laughs> well, because that's weird because like usually Call of Duty month is November. Yeah, it usually is. Like, yeah, yeah I think it's the first month that's different. They're that's, scared. They, they are. <laughs> I'd be scared too, though. Fair enough. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, everyone in the world has been waiting for Red Dead 2, essentially. So it's like, I, I don't blame them for trying to stay as far away from that as you possibly can. Do you want to know a little Easter egg about that game? I played that game when I had a concussion, so I don't remember any of it. <laughs> I remember it being good. That's amazing. That's about it. <laughs> so for me from Rockstar, is it Rock, it's Rockstar. Rockstar, right? yeah. yeah. Rockstar. I've only ever played the Grand Theft Auto games, Grand Theft Auto 5. Never touched the story. Just played online and dicked around the whole time. Nice. Red Dead 2, I might get if my friends have enough, you know, I don't know, G doesn't play online because he's antisocial, but if my other friends have <laughs> the game. It's all about the story, man. It's all about the story. Yo, you have a PS4? We'll do it up. Okay. I'll, I'll get, I'm gonna get Red Dead Redemption Four, and you know, or Red Dead Redemption Four. 4. Where? Did, what happened to the other I'm two? Get, I'll get it because I know when I played Red Dead, when the online in Red Dead in the first one was so much fun, but it yeah. was like the fun you can make yourself was also there too. Where it was like we had a really stupid game where we had to see how many animals we can make in the unicorns. You know how you make a unicorn in that game? You throw a tomahawk at its head. <laughs> like. Dark. Yeah, no, it's dark. Um, yeah, Actually, I'm, what's your favorite uh, Smash Bros. character? Yeah, I want to know. What's who, your main? Who's, who's your main? main? Yeah, I need Toon to know. Link and Roy the boy. Roy's, Roy's our boy. Roy's our boy. You guys? <sighs> uh, game and watch. I'm not kidding. I, I can wreck. Um, Link and Ice Climbers. Nice. They're bringing them back. So I'm excited. Um, everyone's gonna hate me because. I play. I main Sonic and Villager. <laughs> Sonic, we piss so cute. Ma- so much. <laughs> I used to do Smash competitively a lot, and I dropped off the map and became incredibly rusty. But I'm excited to play this again because it looks so good. Mm-hmm. It looks so damn good. <laughs> I noticed that like too. As soon as I saw it come out, like Mario jumping over the pipe, I'm like, this kind of it looked weird to me. But then I realized, wait, no, this looks really clean. Like this looks really good. Well, they did the weird thing where it's like a lot of people were expecting a brand new game essentially, and a lot of people were just expecting the port from the Wii U. Yeah. They kind of gave us both. They gave us every Smash Bros. game character into the Wii U 
updated engine essentially because it's using assets from the previous one mm -hmm. and it's it looks great like it looks honestly it looks fantastic and they they do they went into enough stuff in their direct to be like this is how the characters have changed and I, like i can guarantee it's not coming out till october or december. no december yeah. we're probably gonna get another direct that literally is just a smash bros direct where they go into the nitty-gritty like here's what shields do can you wave dash can you do all this other crazy stuff and it's like We'll, they'll go into it for sure so we're the gonna thing, get a lot the thing about the Switch is since the Wii U was such a flop and nobody bought it they're just re-releasing their old games yeah and people are buying it again or yeah buying it for the first I bought the Wii U for Mario Kart and Smash Bros that was it that's all I've used it for you know what I think it's the same and Zombie U was actually really fun um Xeno Xenoblade Chronicles Xenoblade Saga 2, I think, was the one on there with the mechs. Yeah. It was, yeah, like, uh, it had some gems, but I don't even think, it wasn't worth it in the end. I can't believe how they abandoned it. No, oh no, it absolutely makes sense. Like a red-headed stepchild because is gone. <laughs> Man. Um, I'm redhead, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and a stepchild. <laughs> Just, mm -hmm. But, um, no, it makes sense. I mean, the Wii U was very, unfortunately, marketed poorly. It was marketed extremely terribly, actually. It was. No one knew like what it was. Like the Vita. Did you see the... F anyway. No, it's okay. We're going to do the real estate, but no. <laughs> you're absolutely right. I own a Wii U. I had Smash, Kart, Bayonetta, because I'm a sucker for sexy librarian women in tights, mm -hmm. and uh, the Mario Party 10, mm -hmm. which was a ginormous disappointment. It was garbage. Because you are all sharing the same cart, and everyone wins. <laughs> Yay! What garbage is that?